If you were in Vegas and you wanted to bet the likelihood of me making a three-point shot from where I'm standing right now to that hoop, my odds probably wouldn't be that great. But ASC women's basketball, they played like they were in Vegas today. And Alicia Davis made a 40-footer from my exact spot to help seal it for the Sun Devils, who at one point trailed by 16. Now, ASU, they went on a 24-8 to run in the last nine minutes of the game versus 11 seed UALR. Now, Coach Folly from UALR had a lot to say about his team and the Sun Devils in the post-game press conference. You know, somebody's going to win and somebody's going to lose, but to have three seniors to show their character, I can't say anymore. It, it wasn't because we quit. Those guys, both teams played, played with their hearts. Both teams played with their guts out. Somebody, like I said, is going to win or lose, but I'm so proud of coaching these three seniors. This has rejuvenated me in coaching. It makes me feel like there's kids that really care, and it's a great feeling. Coach Charlie Turner Thorne with the media has a way with words. And she started her press conference off after this big win in a unique way by, of course, referencing a Christmas movie. You guys like the movie Elf? <laughs> you got it. That's a great movie, isn't it? Well, you know how they have to believe, right? And that makes us feel this way. I mean, I think our fans believed. We believed. We just all believed. And before you know, we're banking in 40 foot threes and finding a way to win. So, um, just really happy for this team. Um, they've worked so hard all year long and um, just very excited to uh, keep playing, keep coaching them. Now, if it had not been for that Alicia Davis deep three-pointer that we were showing you earlier, ASU could have lost this game by one possession very easily. Here's what Alicia Davis had to say about her career-defining three-pointer. As you've seen in the first, the first time we had four seconds left on the shot, on the shot clock, and Katie gave it to me, I wasn't ready because I wasn't expecting it. But after that, I was just like, now or never. Like, what is, what is there? Like, you miss, you miss ten. You hopefully you make the eleventh one, so never give up. And my teammates and my coaches believed in me, and they just said it's gonna fall. It's gonna fall. It was a really tricky shot for a bad one to be the only one that really fell, but I was glad that it did. With ASU's big win, they're going to be facing the number two seed, Florida State University in Greensboro, North Carolina. You can catch it this Friday on ESPN2. It's going to be at 6.30 p.m. Arizona time. For Walter Carcate Sports Network, I'm Elaine Wilson.